as you all can see here, this is Keisha Lynn Mosca King. Keisha King was held hostage for over 30 hours and shot by Gordon Castro, who was eventually shot by police in 2020. A bail reform act introduced by Sina My House lawmaker Marissa Flores says that Castro was a convicted felon with a substantial criminal history. He was released on bail in two pending felony drug cases and was on probation. My cousin Keisha would have turned 36 on May 3rd. But due to carelessness and the leniency of our justice system, my family sits here behind me, still with heavy hearts. Family waited tirelessly for DPS to take action. And to this day, we still ask ourselves, why and what could have been done to prevent this tragedy? Representative Flores is taking action. Her bill would update bail laws to impose consistent conditions for release. But the initial proposal received mixed reactions from the legal community during a committee meeting. Some say it goes against criminal justice reform. Eliminating release on personal recognizance based on a prior felony conviction alone, regardless of the type, disregards the fact that a person has already served their time for that conviction. And it perpetuates a cycle of punishment instead of rehabilitation. She says lawmakers ought to look at evidence-based alternatives, including increased supervision or increased trial support services. Recent amendments allow for more time for public comment before lawmakers vote to put it on the House floor. This bill really focuses on repeat violent offenders. Right? This is not about every single person that, that is just coming in before court. These are repeat violent offenders. Flores wants to make that clear. We tightened up the language to include violent repeat offenders. So that was um, one of the changes that we made in the substitution. In terms of law, you have a prosecutor and you have a defender. So um, will they ever see eye to eye? Um, probably not. The House committee is expected to meet next week to hear from the chief public defender and attorney general. Tomas Maglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.